last thing, if there's any way at all that you want to contact us, any way that you feel comfortable, I ask that you take the time to do it now. If you've answered any of our questions, we thank you very much. Concludes the evening. One night in the dining room, when we closed up, you leave a little bit of light on there, and we don't lock it up. She said she saw a guy come through the uh, lobby. You couldn't make out a figure, it's just the outline of a man. He walked in, and he went and sat in the corner table there. So she started walking up to tell him, sir, we're closed. When she got up to him, he just vaporized, he's gone. But about everybody here has got some kind of experience if they want to tell you about it or not. You know. kitchen there. I don't know if you went down the hallway where all the antiques is. There's a room right there in that corner. Right, right. They had a guy die in there a couple years ago. Uh, that was before I started here. They were having some kind of party or some kind of thing in the dining room. Uh, he left because he was staying in that room. He was going in there to use the bathroom and get something out of his luggage. He didn't come back. And they went in there and he's laying on the floor dead. Uh, apparently it was a heart attack. But since he died, they've had of all things, now I don't know if it still does that or not because they told me about this, the water would back up and bubble in the back of the toilet. They really? didn't do that before. They had the plumber look at it and some other guy says, I don't understand why that's doing that. That doesn't make sense why it would do it there and no place else. It didn't do that before the guy died. So that, we had a woman just call here just, um, oh heck, it was just the other night. It was, I work Wednesday through Sunday. She called. Thursday or Friday, and the the girl that works down there has just been dealing with this a couple of times, short couple of months. She was, she's the hostess, and she thought it was a gag. The woman who was staying here in this room or somewhere upstairs, and she wanted to know why they didn't tell her that this place was haunted. Really? And she said, "Well, lady, there's no ghost." She thought it was a gag because she hadn't been here that long. Mm -hmm. And the woman was real persistent and said, "No, I'm not kidding you. I was scared there was some kind of presence in that room. Why didn't you tell me about that?" And she wanted to know more of the history place and do you know anything on the e office and all that. And she thought, well, this is a gag. Mm -hmm. And she kind of split and she said, no, I'm not kidding. Well, she laughed about it and then she told us and I said, well, you haven't been here very long. That was no gag. <laughs> The noise you're hearing where people, they say in this room, in the next room, where they hear people talking or chains dragging or groaning and stuff like that, it's the furnace and stuff. Because mm -hmm. Jim's been up here and said, well, that's what it sounds like, but he said, we don't have a furnace on in the middle of the summer. Right. You know? He stayed up here one night with a friend of his years ago and said you could hear somebody like talking. Same thing, it's the same story. You know, now again, if you start telling people about this haunting and stuff like that, and they're scared, they're gonna get that built up in their mind bigger and bigger and bigger, and every little crack is gonna turn into a ghost, and then it's gonna start scaring you. That's just the way your mind works, you know? Mm -hmm. So, but when you have people that don't know nothing about the haunting in this place, and they come down here and say, what's going on here, you know? And again and again and again, well, wait a minute, what do we got here, you know? Right. So you eliminate, okay, say take 10% of the corner, something's something going on here, you know? This is an old building, it's settling, it's cracking. Mm -hmm. We got a, a cat that down there, we got two cats out in the back, you probably got possums and mice going through the place. There's an answer for a lot of it, you know? Right. But when you have the same thing where I seen this woman float across, or I seen this kid going through there, and then people come here and never heard of this, well, how would they see the same thing? They're all in all imagination, the same thing, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, 
there's got to be something to it. Since then, basically not much has happened to me. Whereas, if it scares you, if you believe in it, and it gets, they're going to keep on, they're going to keep on. Is the General Lewis Inn haunted? Oh, I'd say definitely, you know, at least in nine. I would say, you never say positive about anything, probably, but uh, I would say probably a real strong eight or a nine, that there's definitely something going on here. Some kind of paranormal activity or something. 